What is going on with you, YouTube? This is Regular Dave coming at you with another video. All right, man, a little discussion video. I'm gonna be doing this a little bit more often. It's a better way for me to interact with you guys down in the comments and get cracking on Twitter and whatever else. So we're gonna talk about the Order 1886, man. This game is a little over one week away. Releases February 20th, which is a Friday. I always find it weird when games don't release on a Tuesday. Um, but I'm, all accounts I can find online, it says the game's coming out February 20th. All right, man, this game is already a hot topic issue, um, and here's why. All right, some people are saying the game is great, some people are saying the game is bad. Now, here's the criticism on the game, and this is what I wanna know what, what you guys think, because I'll give my opinions. Some people are saying that the game is on rails, it's extremely linear, uh, mixed with quick time events, um, and by on rails, they mean like straight through, no exploration, no nothing, you just pretty much get into a story. It's kind of like watching an interactive movie. Um, also, they're saying that the game is short. Now, there's people that already have review copies, um, so we really don't know. Unless you have a review copy and if you beat the game, then we don't know if it's short. But um, I'd say anything under 10 hours is pretty short. So, I'd say right around 10 seems good for a game like this. Now, my opinion on a game being on rails um, is if they design this game with the with that in mind that this game is going to be extremely linear, I don't really think that could be a knock on the game because it's not really made to be an exploration game or a free roaming game. It's made to get you through the game um, in a certain way. Why? I think probably to tell the story. If you want to keep a story tight, you don't want too much freedom um, of the characters because then that kind of takes away from the story. You want to keep it tight and concise, and I think that's probably why the game might be a little short too. Once a, once a game starts getting too long, the story starts having holes and falling apart, and it actually you don't it loses your interest. So if you want to keep a tight story, almost like a movie, you got to keep it pretty short. Now. I have no problem with playing a game on wheels or on rails, a linear game. As you guys know, I play games that are all story. The Walking Dead, Life is Strange, and those are two of my greatest experiences gaming. So the order being um, story driven, it seems to be very story driven, doesn't bother me at all. I actually prefer it, but some people don't. Some people just wanna play. The only thing I ask in a game that's story driven is that when there is action, I wanna control it. I don't wanna watch quick time, um, or I'll even take quick time events. I don't wanna watch uh, CGI action that I could be actually be controlling. That is my biggest pet peeve with story games and hopefully the order doesn't do that. But what I need to know, and I need y'all to get active in the comments, is what do you guys think of the title? Do you think it's gonna be a bust or do you think it's gonna be the first must have title of 2015? This is the first um, first party Sony game uh, since I got my PS4 that I'm actually really, really looking forward to and I have high hopes for, but I actually think this is this game ha holds the highest chance of just letting every everybody down. By all accounts, by the trailers, everything I saw, I'm going to love this game, but we'll see, man. I'm going to be doing a let's play on it if I like it. Play through the game like five, six hours. If I like it, you guys will see videos right away. If I don't, I'm not about to start another let's play that I'm not going to finish, so I won't even put out the videos, and I'll tell you guys why and make a video on that. All right, man, get active in the comments. Hit that like button um, for more discussion issues, and I'll get it to you guys another time. Peace.